What is going on everyone? My name's Boyt and I'm back with some more Age of Mythology. The Titans action spawning in the blue color playing as Hades. His name is the Rapple. His opponent today in the red color playing as Set. His name is Yoshi. We are getting to the nitty gritty, ladies and gentlemen. This is uh, the winner's semi-finals. Uh, if I do forget uh, about the bracket, I mean, let, let's go through it here, all right? So, uh, winner's semi-finals. This means the next stage of the tournament for the winner of this is going to be the winner's finals, and then they have to go on and face the uh, the loser's champion. Uh, and if the, obviously the player who loses here, he can go down to the loser's bracket as well. Uh, and then we will potentially be having a ladder reset if the winner of that loses against the loser. So, and then they get two games. It, it makes sense, I promise. If you're familiar with Super Smash Brothers, now that might be a bit of a, a strange pull out of nowhere, but they always do this kind of thing in their tournaments where... It's double elimination, and then in the very end, uh, the player who has not lost gets an extra chance because everyone gets that extra life in the tournament. That's how it works. So you sometimes, if you if you do end up end up losing, uh, it makes your your path to becoming the champion uh, a little bit harder uh, for the finals. Uh, as we do find the middle horseshoes here, plus ten percent cavalry movement speed. Oh, I love that relic. It's so really good for Greek in this matchup. Oh dear. But we do have Rapple playing Hades and we do have Yoshi playing set. Personally, this matchup here is a, um, a very, I, I find this matchup fun um, because, well, at least from the set side of things. Now, on the, from the, from the Hades side of things, you kind of don't have to do anything to win. Um, you just have to kind of defend and hope that the set player makes a mistake. The set player has a lot of opportunities to win in this matchup. No matter what people say, I do believe deep down, as much as it irks me because I can't find the wins here often enough, I do feel like Set has got an opportunity to win this matchup uh, at least half the time. It depends on town centers. It depends on how well uh, your opponent defends and it depends on how well you attack. But the ball is in the court of the Set player to make it happen. And the Hades player, as always, needs to sit back and shoot those arrows and play a defensive game. So we'll see how things are going to go. Both these relics right next to each other, actually. Odin's one tier, reducing the temple upgrade here of the food, gold, wood cost, and favor cost of those temple upgrades. The myth of horseshoes here, I mean, uh, let me explain why this relic, relic is so good here. So on the one hand, it gives your, obviously gives your cavalry a bonus of 10% um, speed. So on the one hand, cavalry already got 5.5 speed. So they, they don't really need more speed to be effective, so to speak, in the actual fights. But having that extra 5.05 speed or whatever, oh, wait, 0.55 speed, um, actually allows your cavalry to hit that 5.01 speed much faster um, from when they get snared because the snare takes them down so much in actual speed so then they they start speeding back up away from any sort of snare so they actually get get back into the um, into the good position uh, quite faster which means they get uh, more HP against chariot archer spam um, so that's a the thing there but what I'm really interested here is is in Yoshi's set, I'm interested because he actually, unlike a lot of other Egyptian players or, or other top players, he actually thinks that set isn't as much of an improvised god as most people do believe. He's not an improvised god. He's a timing attack god uh, who is based on getting to a certain point in the game and hitting a timing and absolutely destroying your opponent. As the pharaoh does move forward a little bit late there to find that relic. There is no relic there for said Yoshi pharaohs is going to be moving back. And Yoshi here, we'll see what he's going to do. Now, there's two options here. He can go for a talent center. He can go for a uh, uh, classical fight. He can... Well, he can go for, he has to go for a talent center here. There's, I've tried doing classical right. fights here against Hades. It doesn't really work. Um, you go for a second town center, and from this, you can go for a classical fight, or you can go for a fast heroic. You can also go for a fast mythic off of the two town centers as well. Uh, I have had some minor success doing this against Hades, um, but I, I think that it, it, it's a little bit on the... Um, 
the lackluster side. It's probably better to be trying to hit a, a specific Mythic Age timing with army out rather than hit the Mythic Age first. Anyways, we'll see how things are going to go because now Rappel, he's going up to the next age. He's moving up to this town center. This is not the best town center in the world for... Actually, I told a lie. Never mind. It's a fantastic town center. There's a gold mine there. I'm pretty sure Rappel didn't... I don't know if I'm just still really half asleep here or Rappel just spotted this gold mine, but having not spotted this gold mine, I probably would have thought about moving forward to this town center here. But getting this back town center here, having this hunt on this position, having this gold mine back here, that's going to be absolutely beautiful for uh, for Rappel there. And well, Rappel has got some options here. He could go... Well, he, ha he has to basically sit back here and respect some sort of shifting sand shenanigans on this town center. Uh, but... He's got, he's got a lot of advantages there. So the armory is coming in. We've got the four villages on gold. Two villages on the armory is a bit funky here from Yoshi. There is no rush to get this armory up. There is no rush. It takes 90 seconds to build the armory. With two villages there, you're wasting probably somewhere in the vicinity of 20 to 30 gold, I guess. Uh, it's, it's no small amount of gold lost there. Um, but yeah, you, you're not going to be able to advance faster than I think 745 is your like the earliest I've ever been able to get to the uh to the heroic age off of two town centers with set um so putting that armory down with any more than one villager is a little bit uh lackluster as we do see the chiron coming in causing some problems over here hitting that fair i love that play from rapple he's got to keep doing that there as the uh stables are coming up hand axe coming through for rapple he's got himself pickaxe already one of the beautiful things about playing hades versus set as opposed to playing like hades versus like aranos or chronos is you don't need to invest in the watchtowers earlier so you can actually get yourself these military buildings going that little bit faster now we are seeing rapple going for toxodes which I am not not a fan of, but I'm not a fan of. I, I don't think that you want to build Toxodes most of the time against Egyptian unless they start building uh, Spearmen most of the time if you just go for, especially if you've got 6.05 Hippocon, but most of the time if you just go for Hippocon against um, against Set, that's kind of enough. This harassment here from Rappel is doing so much damage. It doesn't look like it because he hasn't actually picked off a villager here, but he is getting... A really, really good amount of damage here in terms of idle time as the villager gets sniped there from the Minotaur. And another villager over here looks like it might be going down. In fact, it does go down, though. The Ajax might fall here as well as the Chiron Ajax is going to be pulling back. They're both very, very low HP as the Chiron now going to be trying to focus down that uh, that Pharaoh there, deciding to dip out after this one. But, I mean, damage is done. He's picked off two villagers there. But he's taken a lot of HP damage on those heroes. It will be important for him to sack those heroes, get them back up to full HP so that he can deal with a um, an Ancestors or something. But more units are going to be coming through here. And Yoshi, while he is eating all this hunt, he is very much delayed in this Heroic Age. Like I was saying, 7.45, that's kind of your peak advance time for set. It is. That's the best time. And now it's already eight minutes and he hasn't even gotten close to that 800 food. And he might have it actually in terms of the villages that are in this elk. But this is really, really slow for Yoshi. What upgrades does he have? He doesn't even have pickaxe yet. He's very, very far behind the eight ball in terms of set, uh, in terms of like the set theory that he can do. Rappel, on the other hand, he is... It doesn't really matter for, for the Hades player at what time you do anything. So long as your villages are coming out, the economy is coming through, you are making your way to that to that point in the, uh, in the Mythic Age where basically the set player can't really beat you. There are some possibilities for the set player to find victories in the late game, but it is, um, it is a difficulty. It depends on the gold mine spawns. Uh, if there's a butt ton of gold mines, it becomes quite difficult. But if there's only a, a couple of possibilities for the Hades player to go to, you know, the set player can still win in the early late game. Uh, it doesn't become 100% win uh, for the Hades until I, I guess the Hades player is probably getting a Titan out just because the economy doesn't quite work out um, for the set player. As the uh, Nephthys going to be coming through here for Yoshi. Town Center coming up for Rappel as well. Third Town Center. And with the uh, with the Auroch here getting eaten up, there's there's not any more food left for Yoshi. He's got 32 favor in the bank. He's got what looks to be one monument. Now, this is something that I've been discovering lately with Set, is that Joey Bads was right all along. Why don't Set players just get themselves a third monument? 
Uh, and here we didn't even see Yoshi get sex the second monument. Uh, and the reason why it's so good is because it gets you an extra couple of animals of set a um, a minute to eat, which is really, really big. As we do see the shaft mine coming in for Yoshi as well. He's going to be getting his mining camp up. He's a little bit short on the gold. Uh, but if you can get your third monument up, you just spam out so many more giraffes, so many more gazelle of set. And you don't get harassed by your opponent on these positions at all. Uh, plus, you also can then get yourself out hippos of set or... Rhinos are set in the Mythic Age, which become a very, very valuable unit. As we do see a market coming up for Yoshi, he wants to go to the next age. I am I am feeling like this Migdol Stronghold market go Mythic Age is somewhat standard for setting this matchup, but look at how well Rappel is moving across the map. He's got the villagers over here eating all of this hunt. We do see the Scorpion men coming down here, the Ajax not quite in position, the Chiron not quite in position either. So this Scorpion man will be finding a small amount of value here uh, he is very, very good at taking out villagers with the 25 hack damage. Um, basically able to pick off a villager in somewhere between probably like four seconds there uh, if, it, if the villager isn't running away. But the uh, the villagers will pull back here. The Chiron and the Ajax will be coming back to deal with this one. Uh, unfortunately, Rappel did not run towards his heroes. So he's actually taking more damage here than he otherwise should have. Uh, but Yoshi, Quarry coming through. Quarry is an upgrade I would recommend skipping. It's 500 resources, uh, and it we, because of the way the animations work, you're not actually getting yourself a 10% increase in gold gather rate. It's more like a 5% increase in gold gather rate. Um, and it ends up taking a very, very long time to pay off when you're trying to get yourself the fastest heroic... Sorry, excuse me, the fastest mythic age possible. Delaying that one uh, seems to be the better, uh, the better option, but... Chariot Archers pushing through here for Yoshi. He's still trying to get a lot of pressure on. Yoshi is uh, one of the best uh, raiders in the game up there with Count on Count as well uh, because he's just he's just always APM, 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 sending everything everywhere. Now, we are seeing a wall coming up over here. Cheeky little goat on this position from Rappel. I'm not 100% sure this is on purpose, but what I will say is Rappel is really, really smart. I wouldn't be surprised if he's not doing this. Um, sorry, I wouldn't be surprised if he is doing this, but what you can do is you can control group this goat and you're looking at the um, control groups if you ever see that control group disappear that means your opponent has scouted or is on that town center so you can do that as a little trick it's a zero population way to keep your eye on uh on a resource or on a town center obviously the goat is worth food as well but it's a zero population way to do it. As we see Feral coming through now for Yoshi. And this is the big play. This is the big thing that Yoshi is going for. He is going for the animals of Set here. I see he's got that second monument. Do we see a third monument anywhere? No. The army is... There's the third monument coming up. As the siege towers are starting to come out here for Yoshi. And he wants to go for a Shifting Sands time bomb here of some sort. But the gold mines, if he takes out the back town center here, these villagers, they can just retreat. He doesn't need to worry about it. He can just retreat away from that position. Getting some villager kills over here is absolutely gigantic. But he can just retreat away from anything, sack the town center, and then come back. Restoration, win the fight, should be fine. Siege Towers starting to move forward. Maybe with it, probably going to go with that Shifting Sands. Does he have vision? Yes, he does have that vision. The Pharaoh coming through as well. Going to start making some animals of, animals of set. I'd be so Surprised to see him not make hippos here, considering he's already at full population. The vision is coming down onto which position? Where is he going with this one? That's the big question. He's going over here onto this town, and the shifting sands timing attack comes in. Curse gets dropped somewhere. I'm not 100% sure. There it is on this position. Town center will end up coming down here. Ancestors into the main base, or sorry, tornado into the main base. Ancestors down onto this position as the uh, rhinos of set are coming down. Did the pharaoh get picked off here by the town center? No. It's out on this position. Rappel needs to focus that Pharaoh down. That is the most important thing. Look at how good that positioning is. The villagers here trying to repair this one up. This is not important. He can just retreat away and then push back in later. The ancestors are going to get some villager kills here as well. Rappel is 134 of 105 population. He loses the hometown center. He didn't use restoration to keep that town center alive like he could have. But he will have restoration for these Hippocon to push through here. The Rhinos are set. Are getting some good damage done over here. The um, chat. Chariot Archers over here causing some problems on that gold mine there as well. There is gold up on this position. Rappel is down to 57 population. We do see Restoration getting dropped down here as the Pharaoh is going to be getting cleaned up over there, that's, which will put a stop to the Rhinoceros uh, spawning shenanigans here. And 
While the Rhinos are very, very strong, their strength actually isn't... I mean, their stats are great. Their stats are great, but their actual strength isn't in the stats. It's in the cost. Only six favor. And the fact that you can keep on spamming them and out of your pharaohs. So taking that pharaoh down is the first, second, and third most important thing you can do. As Yoshi gets the damage done, the gold is still all over the map. There's still gold everywhere. And the answer for set in this matchup is every single time it needs to be, how do I get the gold cut? How do I push my opponent out of the game? How do I get a, th a four to two town center advantage and get that gold cut going? As the unit's trying to break through this gate over here, town center not coming back up just yet for Rappel. He's a little bit strapped for gold. He does have this forward gold mine, but he can't yet jump onto it. Villagers moving over onto this position. Wall coming down over here. Nemean line standing def in defensive position where that's concerned as well. As the Ajax comes through, the Avenger will be able to sneak through here. Going to be looking for some villager kills. Uh... Rappel needs to get himself out the Achilles or something to deal with that Avenger. It is very, very strong. And the other thing here is that Yoshi can continue building Avengers because he's gotten that third monument. His favor is just going to keep on coming in. And the fact that he can't build himself uh, Rhinos a set while he's waiting for that Pharaoh to come out doesn't matter that much because he can just go in with the Avengers. Now, the Avengers are dealt with very, very nicely by Chiron. And we'll see if that Chiron is going to come out anytime soon here. Uh, for Rappel. He's got the uh, the Achilles over here. He needs to send that one back home as the Siege Tower does get taken out. The Avenger going to be hitting the villagers on this position. Rappel doesn't have this one walled up very well in the slightest as Yoshi has taken those villagers out, retreating away. The army going to be pushing in onto this position here as well. As the Toxode is getting some good damage done here, going to be taking uh, those units out as they're running straight through that town. So lots of damage there uh, onto the uh, army from Rappel as the Avengers still getting damage done over here. Units pushing through here. We do see the Toxode is in uh, a nice retreat trying to get over there. Yoshi's only at 114 population here. He is strapped for um, population. He needs to be spending those resources and getting going here at this point. We do see the Obelisk getting taken out there as the uh, Avenger getting chased around yet again. But Yoshi smartly going to be retreating this one away to a different position as the Achilles is back in over here. We see another couple of Avengers coming through, taking more and more villagers out. Rappel's food economy is shot. Rappel's villagers are absolutely shot here. And this pressure, which Yoshi is putting on, is so absurdly good at this point in the game. He is hitting everything everywhere. And and Rappel is just not able to defend it. He almost gets his town center back up. He's going to have uh, his work cut out for him, getting back into this game from an economic standpoint. Uh, normally, the the haters player can defend a lot of this, but Yoshi just hitting everywhere all over the place has done so much good damage. And the Avenger over here getting taken down by that Ajax is not something you want to be seeing there. As Yoshi does pull away, the Avenger over here going to be breaking down this gate as well. The uh, Achilles trying to chase said Avenger away here. As the Chiron is now out, he has to send that one over and deal with this Avenger as that gate is going to be getting taken out. Meanwhile, Avenger back into the main base. Town Center will get a little bit of damage done here. Rappel still not starting the villager production on these Town Centers. He's got 0% over here, 0% over here, and nothing out of that Town Center on this point just because he's got no food income. He is spamming out those Toxodes, which is doing a good job. Uh, but now Yoshi, he needs to not take his foot off the gas. He got to set up on this town center. He's done the economic damage. He needs to kill this town center off and get that for himself very, very quickly. We'll see if he's going to be able to make that happen. He's got himself 17 favor in the bank. So a Ford Migdol here somewhere is not going to go astray. It's ensuring that he can prevent Rappel from getting this gold mine is going to be a big deal as well. As the Avenger comes through, the Chiron not being micro there by Rappel as the Chiron retreating away. Rappel has, not, has missed that one completely there. That would have gone down if he dealt with it. As the Avenger comes through and he's going to be massacring these Toxodes here. As the, uh, Ajax does get in onto this one, trying to get some damage. The uh, Achilles still trying to chase around the Avenger there. As the Avenger does pull back through here, going to be going after the Villagers over on that position there. As the Achilles gets taken down and Rappel is still struggling as Yoshi is up to 140 population. The Avenger hits this gold mine as well as the Chiron. Where did he go? He's retreating away. Hey, Rappel has lost track of wherever that Avenger is, and he's finally going to be bringing that uh, Chiron over to try and deal with that one. Yoshi has been incredibly slippery in this game as the Avenger coming back in. We do see the Ajax is in with a little bit of HP, going to be able to take that one out. We do have some Spearmen coming through here as well. What is happening in the main base here? We've got no farms up just yet for Yoshi. Yoshi looks like he's gone for most, like mostly he's eating food. He hasn't built farms yet, which is the big, big thing for him in this game. Getting the Shadu.
Shadoof means he's going to get slowed down considerably here moving forward because he needs to build farms. He's already got irrigation, though. I love this. Getting yourself irrigation before you start farming... This is not something we see normally. Normally, people are farming and doing it slowly, but getting the upgrade before you start farming and then just spamming the farms out all over the place is a really, really big deal. As the uh, Chiron, not sure exactly what he's doing over here, but he is kind of caught out. Rappel seems to have somewhat quelled the danger at this point, but he's still down nearly 30 villagers at this, at this point in this game. So he's got a very, very big... Uh, way to catch up right now. I mean, being on three town centers, you're getting somewhere in the vicinity of 12 villages a minute there. So in two minutes, you can catch up. But um, this does this just means that there's a huge amount of pressure that Yoshi can start putting on. But he does need to set up for it. He needs to make that happen. He's losing the catapult over here. He should be building the catapult out onto this town. So I'm not sure where he's going. Maybe going for the main base. Maybe his eyes are set on that bottom gold mine. But there is still this gold mine up here. And Rappel can put a fortress down and make this very, very tough to raid and get damage done onto as Rappel starting to push through onto this position here as well. The Toxodes are going to be getting some good damage on the villagers retreating away from here as well as the uh, as the Yoshi units kind of getting caught out as Rappel is happily chasing those down, trying to get nice and close to those ones there. Thank you for the four months, Balzandri. Hopefully I said that right. I appreciate the, uh, the support there. It means a lot. That's Rappel now starting to push forward here. We do see the heavy chariot and will get taken out by this 6.05 speed Hippocon if he ever decides to attack, but he is uh, a little bit confused about what he's doing there as the village is getting taken down. And now Rappel, this is exactly what you need to do when you're behind. And this is the hardest part about playing an aggressive set is getting your wall set up, getting yourself defended while you put all that pressure on. That's the hardest part because the way to come back when you're behind is pick off enemy villagers. You can pick off villagers, you will find yourself an advantage as the Chiron is sitting here waiting, watching, sees the Avenger. We'll be able to get a huge amount of damage onto said Avenger. The villager will come back in, get the walls up. Rappel is getting himself fortified town centers right now. Villagers over here getting cleaned up as well here. As well, as we now see Yoshi pushing up to the top side of the map, he's still looking for something to raid here, something to kill off. But the villagers are still, they still have a thousand gold left in that gold mine. A couple of units pushing through here, going to be getting that raid into the corner as Rappel here in the main base. D lots of villager kills here, actually, for Rappel. Yoshi is down to 60 villagers now, and Rappel is now in front on the villager count. This is the big deal because while Yoshi is Mythic Age, while Yoshi is going to be having access to all of the upgrades here, this is giving Rappel the chance to get himself into a position where he is just simply not going to be able to get pushed out. The biggest thing here for Rappel is to somehow set up a trade route. He doesn't even have to go to the Mythic Age, but going to the Mythic Age first is always going to be the better option because you get access to the Plenty Vault, which is an immediate 10 villages, um, and also getting yourself those upgrades and everything else is a big, big deal as well. Yoshi's she's getting himself Masons, Flood Control, and everything else there as the units are still checking out the bottom, trying to prevent these walls from getting up. I'd love to see a villager get sent forward and try and wall off this position here because if you can prevent this gold mine from getting grabbed, life is going to be really, really tough as the Avengers sneak through. Rival hasn't walled off these villagers here. And he, we do see Rappel trying to make a defensive maneuver here. He pulls away, but the Avengers will hit these villagers. And they do so much damage with that special attack there. Where's the Chiron? Not in on this position, but the Hippocon going to come over here. We do see the Achilles popping out over here. He can send that one back. The Chiron coming over here. We'll be able to take out the Avengers here. But the Villagers mostly getting picked off here. 65 now for Rappel as Yoshi retakes the lead. He's also started a trade route where that's concerned. As the Avengers going to attempt to get out of here. Where's the Achilles gone? He's pop he popped out somewhere as the villagers over here are now going to be the next port of call. As the villagers moving up onto this gold mine here, we do see some villagers coming down to the bottom with that champion chariot there. You've got to get something over there to deal with that. As one Avenger does fall there, villagers moving forward. I need to see Rappel thinking about getting himself a fortress on this position. The fortress is a big deal. Not only is it a Hades fortress with more HP, but it also gets more damage, and it can be a really, really tough thing to push 
through as the uh, Hippocline sneaking onto this position here. Going to get a little bit of damage onto these villagers, but he's got to be careful about that one. Sniping down yet another catapult is a big deal. Walls coming down over here. Going to be defending this town center as well. Nice play from Yoshi. He's got to get set up on his trade route over here in the corner as well and get the walls sorted there because at the moment, I think he's trading. Yeah, it's not the best trade route there. 22 gold. Um, it's really not that hard to set up a trade route. He's got villagers over here. You could actually put the, the trade route over here on this position as well with the villagers that are here and really get a super, super efficient trade route going as the Toxoed is pushing through getting damage done onto the villagers here as well we see greatest of the 50 coming through for Yoshi does he already have the more important upgrade here he doesn't have it um I, I've forgotten it because I've, I haven't played the game at, at all Spear on the Horizon <laughs> he, he's missing that Spear on the Horizon upgrade which effectively gives your um your Spearman champion upgrades for less resource. It costs a lot of favor because it gives yourself two two champion upgrades um for your Spearman it's more important than greatest of the 50 because greatest of the 50 only affects uh, cavalry units, getting bonus damage against those cavalry units. As, you, as it looks like, Rappel does overextend a little bit, but he's up to he's up to his um 160 population. He's got lots of resources here. The village is trying to get the uh, the walls up here. As a Hades Shade going to come over and try and deal with this. A couple of Hippocon going to come in and try and deal with that one as well. As Rappel. To me, looks like he has stabilized after all of the chaos here, and Yoshi has not been able to push Rappel out of the game. This does not mean that Rappel 100% wins here just yet. Rappel has still got to ensure that he gets a trade route set up. This is the next part of the Hades game plan. He needs to get the, 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 um, the trade route set up so that he doesn't lose the game on, say, this gold mine here. Because this is, technically speaking, Rappel's last gold mine. Uh, and, he, and he needs to ensure that he deals with that as the catapult still coming through here, coming through to try and take out these walls. I'm surprised to see catapult being used. They seem like a little bit inefficient here to make this sort of thing happen as we see a marker coming up in the corner. Hephaestus is coming through. But the wall getting taken out here with catapult, yeah, I mean, it's fine, but Siege Towers would do a, a little bit better of a job at picking off those... Um, those walls cheaper and, and less population but the wall's going to go down nonetheless mark are going to get it going to get um up and these villagers will have to retreat away the easiest way to defend this at the moment for rapple is a fortress he hasn't got any fortresses down just yet there it is though there's one coming up on this position which does mean siege we see the raids hitting these villagers over here nice raid on that position uh as yoshi here he's sitting with 77 population uh, 77, 77 favor excuse me in the bank and this is where the question comes for playing set at this point in the game what do you do with that favor because you get all your um all your upgrades after that your favor is just piling up do you build myth units i don't know do you get yourself hippos of set maybe they're probably the best option uh to add to your army one population unit pretty pretty cheap lots of value in it um, as the villagers all getting cleaned up over here as Rappel drops down to 65 uh, villagers where that's concerned as the army trying to push over here the spearmen they've got that greatest to the 50 they've got that um, that champion spearmen spear in the horizon also coming in those Hippocon are going to be dying very very fast here Rappel needs to move away from the uh, he needs to move away from the Hippocon and go into his uh, into his hoplites here and and uh, and Hippaspis to start dealing with those as the unit's going to be retreating away here. Uh, there is a world where a trade route up on this position isn't that bad either. Uh, I mean, it's definitely not as good as in the corner, but Rappel needs to sort that position out at some point here as Bronze Mail, Iron Shield, Architects coming through. The big thing for Yoshi at this moment is he's done so much damage to Rappel that Rappel getting himself Champion Archers, Champion Cavalry, getting himself Forge of Olympus, generally speaking, means that the... Hades' army is going to hit full iron upgrades while the set player is on bronze, or even worse, copper sometimes, based on how the game is going. Uh, but in this position here, it looks like Yoshi, he's got himself some decent upgrades already, so he might be hitting iron, full iron, by the time that Rappel hits full iron, which is a, a big, big advantage where that's concerned. As the Hippocon pushing through, going to try and take out the Catapult. We see the Colossus making his way in onto this position, going to attempt to take that Migdal Stronghold down, as we do see some raids continuing to come through here, but Rappel is defending nicely on this position, though his, uh, his Hippocon are getting... Uh, they're not getting much value here, uh, to say the very least. 
as the Colossus going to be able to tear down this Migdal Stronghold. Not quite enough units up on this position as Rappel says, you know what's better than setting my trade route out and, and, and getting all of my upgrades? Just taking out your town center. Uh, a fortress here would not go astray. I've said this already once, but a fortress here to now, now take out this town center would be very, very good. What... Yoshi is going to be wanting to do, though, while this is going on. He wants to push through and take out this town center before he loses this one up here. The problem is that Yoshi, he's not Ra. He doesn't have a crazy big trade route. He can't spam Mercenary out of this town center to defend this one just yet, as the Colossus is going to be able to clean this one up. And does Yoshi at this moment have himself funeral rites? He probably does. Okay, no, he doesn't, but he can afford it. He's got the favor. He's got the gold. So he wants to get that to deal with those Colossus a little bit easier. Is the Heliopolis also coming through here? But with Yoshi having fully upgraded Spearman, he should be able to deal with these Heliopolis fairly, or these for Heliopolis, I should say, fairly easily as the villagers getting taken out over here. The Hippocon going to swing around and attempt to kill off that... Uh, uh, I can't speak. Catapult on the back there. We'll manage to finish that one off as the uh, Hippaspis coming in. Uh, but they need to be microed at that point. There's probably If you're not going to micro your Hippaspis, just build hoplites. Uh, is the the general the general gist. The Spearmen are doing a great job picking off those cavalry there. But the town center on this position is looking like it is going down. Uh, Rappel has his market up. He doesn't have a whole lot of food in the bank as he is spending everything at the at this moment pushing forward. As the mercenary do pop out over here, trying to clean this one up and look at Yoshi's population at this moment. And, and a lot of this, in my opinion, is because Yoshi is not making himself animals of set. He's got himself 127 population. He's got himself 95 favor. And he can make himself a ton of animals of set here. Uh, Rhinos of set or whatever is going to be a great idea. As Rappel now eating up this gold mine as well to get that Colossus back up to full HP. I love that play. Uh, no reason not to do that. As the unit's still pushing through over here trying to prevent any sort of forward walling. Uh, there is a world where a wall on this position here would be deadly with the catapult sneaking in to start hitting that town center as well. We'll see if uh, Yoshi is going to be able to make that one work as the Chiron pulling back here. Or not getting pulled back here, getting picked off here as the Pharaoh's at half HP. And now we see some Rhinos of Set coming out. Yoshi is back up to full population at this moment. I'm not maybe he did that on purpose where he just wasn't building units. I'm not 100% sure. And he was just trying to get himself out a bunch of um, trade caravans, but 25 camel caravans at the moment, 80 villages at the moment. He is in a very, very good position where that's concerned. Still no walls on this trade route, still no trade route either as uh, also not checking his idle villages. It's that I think that idle villager, this villager has been idle for quite some time. Obviously, uh, Rappel is in a difficult position. You're now getting the copper weapons, mail and shields. As Yoshi, he, is, he needs to get himself his iron weapons, that iron, iron upgrades and everything else. That's the most important thing here. The villagers on this position about to get hit by a cheeky raid by Yoshi. The raiding never ends. Why should it end? And that's Yoshi's mantra, is why should the raiding ever end? If I can raid, why not? As the wall not completed, the wall over here not completed, no defense on this position from Rappel, but he does notice the raid here. He's still got villages on this position as the Heliopoli going to be pushing through here. The army going to be pulling back. And the thing is here, what can he do with these Heliopoli? He can go up to the main base. He can try and take this out. He can see the trade route and he can try and deny that trade route by pushing it onto this position or something like that there. Uh, obviously picking off these stone gates here and breaking through. See Yoshi dropping a lighthouse. How do you have 300 gold in the bank for a lighthouse? Uh, best use, disrespect the other players here. Yoshi in game one of the semifinals of Divine Intervention, disrespecting... Rappel here obviously gives a ton of line of sight, but you can just throw up an obelisk if you really want that there, or a, or a tower, which gives you roughly the same amount as we do see the uh, the spearmen sneaking through here. The villagers here going to jump onto this uh, storehouse there as some archery rangers coming up. Still no walls there. Spearmen, what are you doing? Where are you going? What is your plan here? Bronze weapons coming through here as well as every little bit of delay here in terms of making trades happen for the set player is allowing Rappel to bank resources and he's now got himself Iron Mail, which is huge. Already up to Iron Mail, already up to full bronze. He hasn't lost any units for quite some time here. The Spearmen, they've stolen the Plenty Vault. 
<laughs> there's a world where this yeah, this plenty world isn't the best of positioning here. There's a world where um Yoshi could have snuck in and dropped a Migdol stronghold and actually tried to secure that that um plenty vault. Always put the plenty vault in your main base, nice and secure somewhere there. As a siege tower does sneak through here. I'm not sure what the plan is with that one, uh, but the army now pushing in onto this position here, going to try and go after this town center. And with all these surpasses out, they they're yet to get any upgrades. Obviously, Rapple should get himself medium infantry, heavy infantry, champion infantry as fast as he possibly can. But even at zero upgrades, these counter units they are still going to be able to beat. The Spearman. So you need an answer for these Hippaspus. The answer is going to be Mercenary Cavalry a lot of the times. Um, but you still have to contend with everything else that's coming through here. As Yoshi is spreading out on the map, he's still trying to hit raids. He's still sitting on this position. Is this worth it? Five Spearmen, 10 population. Two Chariot Archers, six population. That's 16 population for a 10 population building there in, in, in essence. So is it worth? I'm not 100% sure. The thing is though that Set does get access to um, Mercenary, which effectively are about worth 40 population total. Uh, so if you can afford to spam them by um, holding that Plenty Vault, it can be worth it there. As Golden Apples, blood, Divine Blood, Hand of Talos coming through. That one will come through before the Colossus finishes off. It gets finished off there, it seems. It's close as bam. It does come through there. But the Pharaoh is in as well. Going to be able to take that one out as it does end up falling. The uh, unit's now going to come over and deal with those uh, Spearmen on that position. As more villagers, now they're coming through. Migdal Stronghold in the corner of the map. You've got to get your walls up and defend against this. You should not... I mean, Yoshi did smartly send himself a Siege Tower through, so he would have been able to clean up the walls anyways. But Yoshi, very, very good positioning on that Migdal Stronghold. Going to get in onto that corner. Rappel here, he's finished up on this gold mine, and this is a big problem for Rappel. We were talking about this before, is Rappel needs to get that trade route st started. He's only got himself a, a thousand... 1,500 gold. He's got the uh, the Donker Caravan set up. This Migdal Stronghold coming up over here means that Rappel effectively needs to come down to the bottom of the map, clean this up, and grab this gold mine himself here. Uh, obviously, Yoshi with 33 Camel Caravans does not need to worry about that. He's also able to get himself Secrets of the Titans here and Heavy Axemen. So he's in a pretty good position where that's concerned. <sighs> As the market's coming up up here for Rappel, as Rappel goes, okay, if I can't get the uh, trade route down the bottom, maybe I can get it up at the top. Uh, but he is now very, 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 very bad position. He can sell food for a little bit here, uh, but he needs to break through this position. No fortresses down the bottom here at all. Does have a Heliopolis here to utilize. Uh, and also on top of that, how is he going to be dealing with the Titan that comes out? It's obviously possible for... A Hades player for a Greek player to kill off a Titan without their own Titan because of the Heliopolis, because of the Colossus, because of the four heroes. But it's still a difficult thing to deal with if you don't have the trade route started. As we see a Siege Works Temple, Migdol Stronghold Towers coming up, buildings coming up here as well as the army on this position trying to get a little bit of damage done but not really able to find that one there. Engineers coming through for, uh, for Yoshi as well. As the Toxodes are cleaning up everything over here. Meanwhile, Toxodes here cleaning these units up. We see the uh, the Titan Gate getting put down on this position as the villagers are going to be coming back here for uh, for Yoshi. Scary moment here for Rappel. This is the uh, most economically sound set I've seen in a long time here from Yoshi. He's got himself 73 villages. He's got himself 33 camel caravans. He's not overdone the camel caravans. And he's able to get himself that one, that Titan Gate very, very easily here. Rappel here looks like he's trying to get the favor out. Looks like he's trying to get himself the Titan out. Uh, which will be very, very good, but he's still got this problem to contend with, which is how does he get himself gold here? One of the big advantages, though, for Rappel moving forward is that the Titan is a bit slow, so he's got some time on his hands here. As the trade route looks like, it is started, but it's moving up to this position here. <laughs> you got to sort that one out as we do see Rappel now. Maybe he's making a desperate push through here. There's a world where he could break through this position. All the units are down here for Yoshi. But there's a world where Rappel has got enough resources to break through this main base here. Not only take out the camel caravans, but everything else as we see the uh, mercenaries starting here. What you kind of want to do is make mercenary infantry from your defensive town center and make mercenary cavalry from your second or third town center to get everything out as fast as 
you possibly can because the merc mercenaries do take quite a significant amount of time to get out there as the uh, Heliopolis or Heliopoli trying to sneak through and get onto this Titan Gate, but they're getting path blocked nicely as the Toxodes coming through onto this position. Can we see the Heliopolis getting the damage they need done here or not? As this is a very, very kind of uh, last-ditch effort to, to some degree to slow this or kill off this Titan Gate. He's not going to be able to do it with these Heliopoli, but he has taken some pressure off of himself. Rappel has taken some pressure off of himself to make this happen and given himself a little bit more time to get his own Titan Gate up in his main base as a, uh, a straggler Baseus coming out. I'm not sure he can afford to be doing that. We do see an archery range out, which does mean... Rappel can make himself some Gastrophides here to deal with this as the army here that Rappel sent gets absolutely obliterated on that position from Rappel, uh, from Yoshi's defense there. As the Titan Gate here at 74,000 HP at 50% uh, completion there as Rappel can now start his own Titan Gate in his main base. And he, generally speaking, you can get the Titan up if you start that Titan before your opponent finishes his Titan. Generally speaking, that's how that works. Uh, and there's no real way into Rappel's base for the time being as these units here pushing over are going to be able to deal with that. We still don't see those gas graffitis coming out just yet for Rappel, but he has got that trade route going. He's got some siege works here. He's got the catapults queued up to take out these, uh, these markets as well. As a market up on this position, if he needs to reroute said market at any point there. And we'll see if uh, if Rappel can, one, get his trade started, two, get a decent trade with the Titan. Now, there's no advantages, I don't think, for the Titan here for... Oh, that's a wonder. That's a wonder. <laughs> Yoshi knows that he's on a timer here. And he says, you know what? If we're not going to finish this game... In the uh, in the old-fashioned way, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for this wonder here, and this is a tournament, and this is exactly what the uh, the game plan, I guess, of set should be. If he can't get the gold star, if he can't push the Hades out of the game, it's time to start that wonder and get that one going because Yoshi's economy is gigantic. He's got all the upgrades he needs. He got all the defense he needs. He just needs to play a defensive game here, and and he can win off that wonder there. As the Titan is now out, but with this all happening, I mean. You still got to understand that Hades can push through anything against Set. He's got Gastrophidi, he's got Heliopoli, he's got Colossus, he's got Petropoli. He's got everything he needs to um to make this push through and prevent that wonder from being a big deal here. But we still need to see these units breaking through this position and there's no siege over here. Lots of markets though for Rappel are up and, and that's the priority here for Rappel. I mean, I'm... I like that he's attacking everywhere at the moment, but he needs to make the actual priority to break through that corner and get that corner for his trade route because otherwise he's just going to be sitting on no resources for a, a very, very long time here. As the uh, the Titan going to be breaking through on this position, he can try and push through and take out this town center here and find an advantage where that's concerned. As Axe of Vengeance, Champion Axe, and Guard Towers coming through. Uh, Wonder coming up with only 21 villages. A bit surprised to see that few as there's more villages going to be coming back there. As the villagers getting a little bit of a path blockage here. Chiron on the defense here getting a little bit of damage done here. But the town's end of a Rapple will end up going down. And this will put a stop to any sort of uh, significant pushing. But Rapple at this point, he's got himself out all four heroes plus some Heliopolis. So he, at the end of this, you've got to imagine that Rapple's probably going to have at least a thousand, if not two thousand HP in his Titan to defend. But how is Yoshi going to be utilizing his Titan here in this position is the big question. I've seen Yoshi... Uh, use his Titan super interestingly uh, before and I wouldn't be surprised to see him just retreat this one back and just call it a day here but it looks like he's going I'm not sure where he's going as the Titan is out the villagers can go back to work Labyrinth of Minos actually coming through for Rappel for whichever reason that doesn't do anything but allow Rappel to build some Minotaurs here which unfortunately the way that Age Mythology works is the, 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 the Minotaurs, they don't get, or the Myth units, they don't get any extra armor or HP as the game goes on, or damage. So as the, um, as the upgrades come in, the Minotaurs, they stop being as important. The Myth units stop being as important moving through the game. 
Because, like, you look at these Toxodes and they've got 38%, 38%. You look at a Hoplite and it's got... Wait, where's the Hoplite? Uh, I, I, don't see the, I don't see any Hoplites out because Rapple has none. Um, but... Hoplite here. You see Hoplites with 115 popula uh, HP. Add the, the HP onto that. They go up to something like 180, I guess. That's my guess. I'm not actually 100% sure what it is. But they've got a lot of population on the back of them there. A, 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 a low population on the back of them. Lots of HP. Lots of armor. And... That means that you can't... You shouldn't really be building those myth units unless they're super value myth units like Colossus, Mummy, Fire Giant. Those Mythic Age myth units are really, really important where that's concerned. As the Titan pushing in onto this position, we see the Titan coming back here for Yoshi as some uh, military buildings coming in. And Rapple here is going to decide to start taking this fight under this position. A bit of a misclick there from Rapple. What is he doing? He takes a huge amount of damage there on uh, to the time. Two hits come through. That's like, I don't know how much is that, like a thousand HP? No, 600 HP there. Villagers pushing forward, going to be attempting to uh, shank down this Titan as well, as best as they can. They could be used to take out the Heliopolis on this position as well. Some priests coming through. Uh, HP differential here is basically equal here as the Axeman coming through a, a, another lighthouse here for Yoshi. Yoshi loves the lighthouses. It gives him so much line of sight. At the end of the fight, the Titan here for Rapple is going to be surviving here with... Uh, no, it's with 300 HPs. He does pick up a couple of villages on the back here. The, the wonder at the back is up. Nine minutes remaining over here on this corner. As the Titan falls, the Siege Tower is falling here. And Rapple at 130 population because he's got no trade route secured. Because he hasn't secured his corner of the map. He has walled this in for himself, but he has not secured the corner of the map. And this is the problem here. that He's got himself 21 trade caravans and no gold in the bank. But we'll see if he can make this work. Pushing up through this corner is an opportunity, uh, an option. Pushing down to this corner is an option. He's got himself eight minutes and 35 seconds remaining. That's plenty of time to make this work. He does not need to panic here. Obviously, he's got some uh, nightmares from a, uh, a game he played against Chemo, where he was playing Zeus versus, uh, versus Chemo's set. But this is not Chemo. Rap uh, Yoshi here is not putting... Uh, chemo walls down. Yoshi here has not got uh, an opportunity to actually do that either. Plus, Rappel is Hades, so he can make those gash defeaties and take these buildings out really, really easily. He's making it work nicely here. Yoshi's dropping down to 143 population. I think that Yoshi is a deathmatch expert. He is one of the best deathmatch players in the game, but he's still got the weakest set god here. Uh, but what makes Yoshi so good is that he doesn't use auto queue in the late game, which means he can put the units where he wants when he wants them. Uh, as opposed to the auto queue players who kind of struggle with that a little bit as the catapult taking down the markets here. We've got the market up here for Rapple, so he can reroute that trade route if he so chooses. But the Gash of are taking down the Migdal Stronghold here as the Heliopoli is still trying to break through on this position. Rapple here, still great population, great archers out. We see the Migdal Stronghold falling as some war elephants or champion elephants are coming out here for Yoshi to try and defend. Elephants are a great option against archers they are technically a cavalry unit where that's concerned as some uh chariot archers coming through trying to sneak this uh plenty vault here i think you need i think the you probably need a couple more units to grab that one for yourself there as i'd love to see or rapples uh wall here was taken out by a siege tower or something over there as yoshi is not finished in this game even if he loses the wonder here just to a sneaky raid or something it's not over for him uh, because he's still got those late game skills. He's still got the corners um, secured in this game. As the uh, Prodromus coming out from uh, from Rappel here. We're seeing it all. Rappel sees the War Elephant as he says, okay, Prodromus kills that one off fairly easily. Some uh, Rhinos of Set coming through here to hold as Yoshi's uh, economy is hurting just a little bit. He's trimmed down that economy significantly. 30 Camel Caravans or 29 Camel Caravans, 48 Villages as the... Uh, as the Rhino is pushing through here. Now, Beast Slayer here is a great upgrade to grab. Does it actually give bonus against animals of sale? I don't think it does. And let me just check that one. Uh, it's just first myth unit, so it's not as good as I thought, but still these uh, gash defeaties are doing crush damage, so they will pick off those. Oh no, they don't. Uh, rhinos have got 99% crush armor as well. There you go. I didn't know that. I thought that they would have like a similar amount of crush armor that every other myth unit has. Uh, apparently not. 
as the Gashafiti slowly breaking through on this position. Yoshi struggling to make ends meet population wise here as he cannot compete with these uh, Gashafiti that are just absolutely destroying everything here. Heavy Sling is now coming through for Yoshi as he says, you know what? Beats Archers better than. Uh, than Elephants, well, slingers, as he starts building those, he's going to have to micro really, really nicely here. Unfortunately, Horus doesn't give any bonuses to slingers in the late game. I kind of wish that they would. Like, the, 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 the slingers get themselves a little bit more range when you get medium uh, and champion. Wait, do they? I think they give a little bit of range when you get um, heavy and champion slingers. But I wouldn't mind seeing, like, uh, a, an upgrade sort of similar to Bone Bow come through for Horus as well for those Slingers so they can go up to, like, 21 range or something, or 22 range, so they can uh, pick off these very, very nicely as uh, Rapple here. He's slowly starting to drop down a population with those Slingers coming out as Yoshi has worked out the defense to mass gas graffiti in the moment here. Uh, and now Rappel has got to possibly stop making these Prodromus and make himself some cavalry to actually break through here as he's still trying to break in. We do see the uh, the Siege Towers pushing through here as Rappel needs to defend this. Five minutes remaining on this wonder as Rappel has made a very tiny amount of, uh, of ground here. He's moved a tiny bit as he is still just trying to make his way very slowly through one little position here in this map and Yoshi is able to defend this at the moment he's able to defend this we are seeing the uh the pharaoh getting targeted down here by that heliopolis will it be able to kill this one off is the big question uh as the heliopolis does get taken out the answer is uh no and rappel here has dropped down to 120 population he's like well what do i do i can't break through the army slingers are op slingers are op yoshi has worked it out slingers are too good what can he do he has to pull back. He's lost that ground that he's made here as the Siege Towers are in. And Yoshi sees victory in his sights at 4 minutes and 35 seconds later. If it passes and that wonder still stands, he will take the first game in this best of five series. Can he make it work as more units piling through? Prodrama still being made is not the unit he really needs here. But, I mean, obviously they're good against the cavalry and the, uh, the mercenary cavalry and the champion elephant there. The hoplites are really, really good here at this point, as we're also still seeing Yoshi pushing through on this corner here as well. Uh, and the elephant going to be cleaning up a market here to boot, as Rappel's trade is now going to get pushed out, as Rappel has got no good... Well, I mean, I think a trade route, like, here in the middle of the map is never a bad idea. Uh, if you're getting pushed off of those corners and you've got this position se secured, you can put up a market here and trade back to this town center if you like. Not a bad idea where that's concerned. As Rappel is pushing through, Yoshi has dropped down on population yet again as he is trying to ensure that he has the right unit type to defend everything pushing through. But this could be a mistake because, I mean, how many military buildings are in his base? Because he needs to pop them out really, really quickly to build what he needs to build. But at, mo at the moment, Yoshi is just building the same composition. He goes Hoplite, Toxodi, Prodromus here, some Gash Graffiti's sneaking through as well as Yoshi is fully distracted for some reason. He's got no gold in the bank. I, I don't know if he just spent a whole bunch of units there or, or resources on something there, but he's got nothing left as now we see the Gash Graffiti's sneaking through here. Going to be starting to target down that wonder. Do you go after the wonder now or do you go after these towers and secure a position in here is the big question. The Gash Graffiti's going to start targeting down said wonder here. There's nothing in on this position here at the moment here for, uh, for Yoshi. Yoshi kind of secured, uh, trying to focus down this position over here. The army pushing through for Rappel at this moment. He's on the Wonder. The Wonder starting to go down. The Gash Graffiti's at the back. He's going to get taken out here. The Heliopolis not in position. There's not enough stuff here for Rappel, it seems, to actually clean up this Wonder for the time being. But the Heliopolis, I mean, what's, I mean, it's going to get taken down. Surely there's Spearman here. Only a little bit of, uh, of damage comes in, and Yoshi welcomes this. This is actually rather smart from Yoshi. He baited that one in to some degree, spends all the units, kill, picks them off when they're under it underneath all of that tower fire. Now we see the Silver Colossus. This is a unit here that's going to be a difficult thing for uh, Yoshi to deal with. The Colossus coming through, but Rappel has only got himself 
a little bit of gold in the back. He's lost his trade route. His trade route is super inefficient here. He can retask that trade route up to this town center if he wants to. Siege Tower taking out his town center over here. Catapult also going after that town center there as well as the Camel Caravans. Path blocking for the time being here. Two minutes remaining on that timer here as Rappel is in full panic mode. He knows he's only got two minutes because he sees that ticker, that timer just going tick, 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 tick as Rappel breaks through a couple of houses here. Colossus coming through as well on the back here to clean this one up, but that Pharaoh was doing so much damage. If Rappel could clean that Pharaoh up, the Colossus would stay alive for such a longer period of time here. As we see a barracks down on this position, Town Center falling for Rappel, and Yoshi's got access to the Bloody Vault. He's cut the trade route, and Rappel has got no gold income left. Yoshi is playing this position superbly, ladies and gentlemen. As the Colossus goes down, the uh, the towers here still standing. One minute thirty seconds left. Rappel with 140 population now as he loses the town center. A granary coming up over here. Villagers shanking down the catapult. The trade route still hasn't been retasked over here. The Colossus coming in onto the wonder. I don't even think by himself he would kill off this wonder in one minute here. The uh, the hoplites pushing through, but Axemen are out for Yoshi to deal with this one. The priests are also going to be taking out the silver Colossus there. 9,000 HP remaining on that wonder. One villager repairing that one up. Yoshi can bring up all of his villagers here to repair this one as well. One minute remaining. What is the next plan here? More units flowing in onto this position here for Rappel, but he's got zero gold in the bank. He's lost, he's lost his plenty vault over here as well. And the wonder will be standing here. No gas graffiti in this position to break through. No chances for Rappel. 45 seconds left on the clock here, and Rappel in that moment with a sigh says GG and that is the game as Yoshi manages to find the dub here with set in the late game quote unquote against Hades wonderful play here from Yoshi he shows how good he is at this game with his set I mean like I don't know what else to say Yoshi's raids here was so important he couldn't quite figure out how to get a town center advantage, how to cut the gold completely here. I think if he'd sent some villages forward and walled off, I think he had the advantage to a considerable degree and he allowed Rappel back into the game. But with that one drop and Rappel not quite able to... Um, not quite able to figure out the best approach to killing this one drop. I think the best approach here was secure the corner, kill all this off, push through, kill this town center, and then push into this wonder. Would have been my choice here for best option, but Rappel tried to make this work, and he just didn't have... Like, if we'd had a trade route set up, maybe he could have just bulldozed through. But without that trade route, without that consistent amount of gold coming in um, in a really nice way, he just couldn't make this one work. Uh, and Yoshi... Just superb play. I don't know what else to say. Incredibly well played first game here. If you guys enjoyed this one, please consider hitting the follow on the Twitch. If you're on the YouTubes, hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next game.